Speaker replacement iMac A1418. Always begin by disconnecting the rear power cord. It's very important so that the power supply is not live. The tools we're going to need are a T10 and Phillips screwdrivers, plastic and metallic prying tools, tweezers, a blow dryer, and M3 double sided tape. Begin by heating up the glue that's securing the screen to the iMac. Uh, it's glued on, so go ahead and heat it up for about 4 or 5 minutes to make sure it's nice and soft. And then go ahead and start prying in with the sharp tool and one of the corners. Please note that if you're using a metallic tool like we are here, there's a possibility you can scratch up the interior of the screen. So go very slow and try to use a plastic tool instead of a metallic tool first. Um, go ahead and go all the way around the contour and break that seal. When the glue is warm, it should be able to come apart pretty easily. Then you can wedge in like a piece of plastic and then pry it and get that separation going. Once the separation is started, you can gently pull back on the screen up top and expose the two connections. Let's take a closer look here. Uh, there's the um, screen connection and the power for the screen. Go ahead and pull that power for the screen first uh, by gently wiggling it out of its socket and then the actual uh, screen data cable. Go ahead and pull on that little tongue uh, and then unclip it like that. With those two connections uh, unhooked, we can go ahead and lower the screen, but it's still attached with the uh, foam tape double-sided glue that they have. So go ahead and uh, use a tool to go ahead and cut that apart. Uh, we're just using a metallic prying tool here. Uh, once you got that separated, you can just pull it right out. We'll need to remove this tape here. Uh, we'll be putting double-sided tape over it once we reassemble the unit. We'll need to remove a cable retainer. These are Phillips head screws. Go ahead with a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the five screws that are securing this cable guard. Always be careful and uh, put all the screws in the orientation where you don't get them lost. Go ahead and start lifting it up. Should be able to come right out once you uh, remove those five. Mm -hmm. The left speaker is screwed in with two T10 screws as you can see here, one on the top, one on the bottom. Go ahead and unfasten those first. We'll need to remove the fan to access the screw behind it. It's screwed in with three T10 screws. Go ahead and unplug the um, fan power cable and then remove those three T10 screws that are holding the fan together. those are removed you should be able to lift the fan up and put it out of the way now you can see that cable that's being exposed that's plugged into the logic board and then the bottom power switch cable as well so let's go ahead and unplug that uh, cable from the logic board that connects the speaker to the logic board go ahead and unpry that little metal bracket that's holding it in place just push up on it and then you can work the cable right out Trace the cable out. Now that the cable is loose, let's unplug the power button and tug that out of the way. Now you can lift the speaker, moving the power cable out of the way, and that's out. Next, let's remove the two T10 screws that are securing the right speaker. Go ahead and unscrew those and start lifting it up. You can see it's plugged in on the side here and just work that little data connection out of the logic board and when it's disconnected you can just pry up on the speaker and gently gently wiggle it out of its socket and just work it out just like that comes right out speaker installation A1418 let's go ahead and plug the right speaker in first plug it into the logic board once it's plugged in 
uh, nice and tight, you can go ahead and insert the speaker into its orientation. Plugging it first allows us uh, enough slack to just work it in there. Once it's sitting correctly, go ahead and secure the two T10 screws, which line up and feel uh, like there's no resistance. With the right one plugged in and secured, go ahead and plug in the left one. Making sure you don't trap that power button cable, go ahead and insert it in and work that power button cable around. Uh, make sure it's not being jammed. Once that's in all the way, you can go ahead and tuck in the uh, power button cable into the power supply. Make sure that that's plugged in. Then you can trace out the data cable for the speaker. And go ahead and tuck that into that little uh, notch and then go ahead and secure it to the logic board. Now let's go ahead and put back the fan by connecting it to the logic board first. Make sure it's nice and snug and it's connected and place it into its orientation as you see here. And then go ahead and secure those three T10 screws. Uh, now let's go ahead and secure the two T10 screws for the speaker on the left side. Now let's go ahead and put back the uh, guard that guards all the connections uh, and secure that. Put that right in. Secure it with the five Phillips head screws. It's very important to remove all of the residual uh, double-sided tape that was left from when we took the screen apart. Go ahead and remove as much as you can. Try to get all of it. Make sure there's no gaps. Put the double-sided tape all the way around the entire contour, especially all the places where we removed the previous double-sided tape from the factory. Now, sometimes you wanna double stack that. You wanna put two rows on. You put one row on, and then go ahead and remove the uh, uh, guarding you know, uh, material. And then on top of that, make another layer if you want to be extra careful. Now go ahead and remove the plastic from the screen itself uh, if you're putting back the old one. Make sure it's nice and clean, aligned it so you can get a nice good seal. Make sure it's uh, uh, oriented properly and it's not sticking out too much to the left or the right. Now go ahead and lift it up and go ahead and connect those two connections. The LVDS or the screen cable that are at in the display, whichever model you have first. This is the data for the display. Go ahead and put that in. Sorry about the blurriness here, but you get the concept. Make sure to click that in and uh, that it's nice and sealed. Now for the power, go ahead and click that in. Also again, sorry for the bl blurriness. Now go ahead and clamp it up. And that's it. Apply generous pressure, making sure you get a nice good seal.